All too often now we're getting calls that are resulting in the deaths of law, law enforcement officers and individuals who are charged with the duty to keep peace in our communities and our counties and across the state. There is no routine call in law enforcement. But what happened this morning began as about as routine as you can get. But anything can happen anytime and it's happening all too often. It's taking the life of a law enforcement officer. And we as a state uh, salute uh, Deputy uh, Stephen and we salute the Sheriff's Department of Stone County. Our thoughts and prayers are with them and with this family. Nothing can bring him back, but we can do the right thing today. And what I'm going to ask of you is to understand that I will not be able to tell you everything that took place this morning. Uh, there is an ongoing criminal investigation, and the last thing we want to do is compromise that investigation right now. But I'll try to give you the facts that I can. A call was received by the Stone County Sheriff's Department asking for assistance at a residence at 2021 Flag Road. That is a Leslie address. Uh, this is about 17 miles southwest of where we're standing. The call uh, related to a uh, domestic uh, welfare check um, and Deputy Mike Stephen took the call. Deputy Stephen arrived at the scene at 8.39 a.m. As he approached the house at the address of 2021 Flag Road, he encountered a female who he began talking to in short order gunfire erupted. Deputy Stephen was killed at the scene. A suspect who has yet to be formally identified, we're trying to get a hold of the next of kin right now, um, his life was taken in that gunfire and an individual who Deputy Stephen had been talking to uh, was wounded her wounds are not believed to be life-threatening. The body of both the suspect and Deputy Stephen are en route to the Arkansas State Crime Laboratory where those bodies will be examined for forensic evidence. Additional evidence will be transported in short order to the crime lab. The Arkansas State Police Criminal Investigation Division and special agents have been asked by the Sheriff's Department here in Mountain View to lead the investigation and that work is underway and will continue for some time. Keep this short and sweet. Mike Stevens is a 20-year veteran of law enforcement. He no longer he was a He's also a veteran of the United States Army. He uh, served his community very well. We're all proud to know him. And our prayers go out with his family. And Mike Stevens was a patrol sergeant with the Stone County Sheriff's Department. He led by the front. His every action that he's ever done, he, he, he always wanted to be the first guy in somewhere and the last one out. Extraordinary leader. That's Mike Stevens. Chief? I understand, was he also an EMT? Okay. Or a first responder in any, in any way? Did he have uh, Yes, roles? sir, he was the uh, fire chief of the Pineville. Uh, he was the fire chief of the uh, Pineville uh, fire department. And um, 
is his wife also in the, in the fire service? Or? Yes, sir. Their whole family is. Chief wasn't to, wasn't he the one who lost his son when he came to Iraq? Yes, sir. He was. He still how old was he? Uh, your deputy. What's that? What was the age of your deputy? He's 56 years old. You spoke a little bit about it, but what will your department or this area miss most about Mike Stevens? Just the leadership. I mean, he's just a, there's so much you can say about Mike Stevens and you just can't sum it all up in a, in a short time. You know, like I said again, he was always one to lead from the front and he pushed his guys to, their, you know, to, to be better people. He's a very big asset to this community. What was the last uh, interaction you had with Deputy Stevens? So the last interaction I had with him was yeah. this morning. He called and said, hey, Chief, hope you have a good day and I love you.